what a special day today to be together just us two and what a lovely day to visit in that's true and I'm fairly certain that you'll agree that we're quite wonderful company I welcome you to stay and sing and say let's be together today welcome story friend how are you glad to be with you can you imagine what kind of book i brought for us to read today how about one with a little pig named clarence who's going on vacation and when he gets there he meets someone but who do you suppose he might meet? How about a horse? And not just any horse, a purple horse. The story is called, Clarence Goes Out West and Meets a Purple Horse. So why don't we just think more about Clarence and his friend, the purple horse, as we enjoy our story time. Clarence Goes Out West and meets a purple horse, written and illustrated by Gene Ekman Adams. Clarence is going on a trip. He packs very carefully. Clarence is going out west on a bus, and he's going to stay at a ranch. Then he's going to come home again. He has it all planned. Clarence loves the bus. He looks out the window. He peeks under the seat. He reclines. He has a few snacks. After a very long ride, the bus arrives out west. Clarence sees his first cactus. The west is very big. Lots of mountains and lots of sky. Clarence arrives at the ranch too late for dinner. He doesn't know anybody. His stomach is empty, and he just remembers he forgot to bring his favorite pillow. Clarence feels a little homesick. That first night, Clarence has trouble falling asleep, even though he's wearing his cloud hat. Early the next morning, Clarence has seven flapjacks, two orange peels, a biscuit, and four corn cobs for breakfast. Ranch food is good. Clarence feels bouncy. Clarence trots down to the corral to see the ranch horses. He is very excited. Up close, they're all quite tall. Their legs look like tree trunks. One horse snorts right on Clarence's face and says, Howdy, I'm Smokey, and I'm going to be your horse this week. I'll teach you to ride and wrangle and jingle your spurs on Saturday night. Clarence backs up two pig steps. He feels small. Howdy, Clarence squeaks bravely. Smokey is good on his word. He teaches Clarence to ride. He takes him to the top of a mountain and stands very still while Clarence snaps pictures. He takes him to the bottom of a canyon where they have a little siesta. Later, Smokey takes Clarence to a party and they go line dancing. Smokey even teaches Clarence how to play cards. On Saturday night, Clarence learns to play the wash tub in a cowboy band. Riding can be very dusty. After a long day, Clarence and Smokey take a bath. Life on a ranch is good, Clarence decides. Clarence is amazed to learn that Smokey can even read. One night, Smokey stops in the middle of a book. What's the matter? Clarence asks, anxious to get on with the story. Smokey looks sad. The ranch is going to sell me. You might not have noticed, but 
I'm not a young horse. I will not be able to ride with you anymore, Clarence. Clarence is horrified. He never noticed that Smokey was old. But what will happen to you, Smokey? Where will you go? Maybe to another ranch? Or down the road? Over the hill? I don't really know where old horses go. I hope it's some place where I can still feel the breeze in my mane and the raindrops on my ears. Smokey looks far away. Clarence thinks about his nice apartment back in the city. He thinks about the pillow he left behind. He thinks about his bus money for the trip home. He thinks, and he thinks, he thinks about Smokey going over the hill. Good night, Smokey, Clarence says. In the morning, Clarence uses all his bus money to buy Smokey from the ranch. Clarence will just have to ride Smokey all the way home. It might take a long time, maybe years, but maybe they can stop on the way to take pictures or to play cards, or maybe they'll join a rodeo. Clarence, the line dancing pig and his famous purple horse Smokey, that would be good. Maybe they can sleep out under the stars and look for the Big Dipper. That would be good too. Maybe Clarence won't be needing his pillow after all. Oh, Clarence and Smokey. When Clarence first got to the ranch, he was a little nervous, wasn't he? Sure, he was far from home and even forgot to bring his favorite pillow. But after a while, he got used to being out west and even made a new friend. And that friend helped him to experience all sorts of new things. It isn't always easy when we have to try something new. It can even be scary. But when we can try something new with someone we like, oftentimes that can make it all the easier. Boy, I sure enjoyed that, Clarence and Smokey. You know, a friend of mine has a real horse. He's in purple, of course. But maybe my friend could take his video camera and take a few videos of the horse and send them to us. I have to talk with him about that, but in the meantime, it's time to sing. So long, farewell till our next story time when I will be with you again. It's time to go till our next hello. Till next time from me to you. I'm so glad that we could be together. There isn't anything you can do or think or wish or have that could make you more valuable than you are right now. And I'm really glad to have a friend like you. Be back next time. Bye for now. <laughs>